Registered Phenomena Code 157 Containment Rating Orange Lethality Rating Beta Hazard Types Sapient Hazard Transmutation Hazard Organic Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-157 will be kept in a standard humanoid containment cell at Site-009. RPC-157 can leave its cell during scheduled cycles in which on-site security must retain permanent visual contact on RPC-157's position. However, under no circumstances is RPC-157 allowed access to or be in Site-009's cafeteria wing. Any food found within the confines of RPC-157's continent cell is to be considered contraband and confiscated immediately. Consuming any food without Level 2 researcher permission is considered a transgression. If discovered violating any of the aforementioned security procedures, RPC-157 is immediately reprimanded and placed into solitary confinement. As a substitute for a non-food diet. RPC-157 must be fed a daily supplementary diet of pills containing a daily vitamin intake. Food flavoring packets are permitted upon request, however, this request can be denied as a form of disciplinary action. For possible effects, see Test Log 1-5. through RPC-157 is a Caucasian human male suffering from severe malnutrition. RPC-157 exhibits notable deviations from the standard human anatomy by lacking select organs, such as the liver, gallbladder, and pancreas. RPC-157's gastrointestinal tract lacks native digestive microbiota and measures approximately twice the length of that of the average human. RPC-157 contains a large community of an unknown variety of stem cells lining its small and large intestinal tracts. If RPC-157 ingests specific multicellular DNA, the oxyribin nucleus in the gastrointestinal system will convert said DNA into stem cells. These stem cells are highly mitotic and will propagate throughout RPC-157's body. Lymph nodes and blood vessels are the first to be affected due to their proximity an unusual repurposing the vectors of stem cell dispersion. After approximately 12 to 24 hours following digestion, the tumorous growths throughout RPC-157's body gradually break down. After 48 hours have passed, RPC-157 will return to a normal human-like state. Recovery Log RPC-157 was first sighted at Angeles Forest after reports of a beast man had been called to the local police. Two Authority embeds were dispatched to investigate the sightings, however, no conclusive evidence could be uncovered, and it was discarded under suspicion of a false sighting. RPC-157 would later be detained after calls of a hog man robbing a convenience store were brought to the Authority's attention. Local law enforcement, advised by one MST operative, was dispatched to the target location. RPC-157 was minorly wounded during the armed confrontation after an MST agent fired a 12-gauge round into its abdominal region, resulting in its eventual surrender and apprehension. All involved law enforcement, op All involved law enforcement officers were provided Class A-1 amnestics and released, with RPC-157 being transferred into Authority custody and provided adequate medical treatment. For more information on Recovery Log, see Interview Log 0001. Addendum Test Log The following is a series of experiments conducted under two Level 3 researchers, an at-the-ready medical team, and armed security personnel were additionally on standby. Test Log No. 1 Protein Bovine Farm Cow Results RPC-157 developed a second stomach elongated ears, thickened skin, and an extra two pairs of mammary glands on its lower abdomen, all of which were non-functional. Test Log No. 2 Protein Gallus Farm Chicken Results 
RPC-157, developed an elongated jaw, fused teeth, a hunched back, a decreased brain size, and increased hair growth. Test Log No. 3 Protein Anguilla Freshwater Eels Results RPC-157 developed an elongated skull, spinal column, and increased teeth length. Cells also developed the ability to reverse polarity. However, any electrical discharges were negligible. Test Log No. 4 Protein Equus Horse Results RPC 157's cranial and skeletal restructuring of ocular cavities to the sides of the head, resulting in temporary blindness, an increase in lung size, and an enlarged chest cavity. Test Log No. 5 Protein Humidity Human Results. RPC-157 rapidly increased in both muscle mass and frontal lobe size. Medical staff had to perform a decompressive craniotomy to prevent permanent brain damage. During the operation, a heptagram was uncovered, carved on the inner wall of the skull. For more information, see Interview Log 0023. Addendum. Interview Log. Interview Log 0001 Forward. The following script was translated from a police surveillance recording. Interview Log 0001 Interviewed RPC-157 Interviewer MST Operative Forward. RPC-157 was heavily agitated during the interview and currently suffers multiple non-fatal gunshot wounds. RPC-157 had used the lavatory before this interview and embodied his normal humanoid state. Interviewer. So, Mr. RPC-157. Do they serve food here? I need to know, damn it. Will you shut it? Now please, no more interruptions. You'll never get food as long as I breathe. You can't deny me food. I'm an American. You shot and killed two officers, mister. As far as the laws are concerned, you no longer have any rights. What can I say? I am a man of action. When I want something, I'll take it. Mister, please refrain from speaking, unless explicitly responding to my questions for your safety. Earlier today, you were apprehended robbing a convenience store belonging to a mister. Do you deny this allegation? No, but I swear, it was for a good reason. What was this good reason that compelled you to rob Mr. Convenience Store? My hunger. Are you… Elaborate. You heard about the recent Angeles forest fires? I have. It sure is a shame they had to burn down. Well, guess what, bucko? My shack was in that forest. So, with your home and food gone, you thought it would be wise to rob a convenience store? I had to. Food, it makes me feel… whole. Explain. I… I feel as if a part of me is missing, you know? Like I'm not complete when I'm hungry. I think we might have stumbled onto something, Mr. I'm concluding our interview. When will I get my food? Good day, mister. End of recording. Closing Statement Psychiatric Analysis RPC-157 is emotionally unstable due to the anomalous effects of its psyche and its nearly constant state of hunger. Expect him to deny the given command and anticipate physical acts of violence. Interview Log 0023 Interview Log 0023 Interviewed RPC-157 Interviewer Dr. Forward RPC-157 was still slightly under the influence of anesthetics and painkillers during the interview. Dr. Interested in the uncovered heptagram and fearing RPC-157 might slip into a coma, demanded a personal one-on-one -on -one interview. The request was granted, and went as follows. 
Interviewer RPC-157 Are you aware a heptagram is carved into your skull? Do you have any clue about how this happened? Is this somehow linked to your anomalous affliction? RPC-157 Woman, please ask one question at a time. RPC-157 Time is a luxury we don't have. Uh, no. I'm unaware of anything inside my skull, besides this insane headache. But honestly, I'm not surprised. And why is that? Well, he did say I would be… marked. He. Who is he? Where did you meet this… I got a call, went to a… cabin. It offered me a hunting experience I would never forget. What happened in the cabin? But there was no cabin! RPC-157, please lower your voice. It was no cabin! It was no cabin! It was no cabin! End of recording. Closing Statement During the interview, RPC-157 attempted to break its constraints. During the altercation, his frontal lobe scraped against his skull. After a month of being unresponsive, observable brain activity returned to RPC-157. However, RPC-157 has been, for the time being, suffering from a minor case of dementia, lacking the ability to remember and retain most long-term memories. Addendum. Some have suggested an all-vegetarian diet. While containing plant cells, vegetables still have DNA that can trigger anomalous tumor growth, so this plan has been denied. All further dietary tests for RPC-157 have been discontinued for their safety. In regards to RPC-157's mention of, it is speculated that, despite being contained in Site-042, it can still manifest elsewhere to carry out its justice on the sinners. RPC-157 was likely one of these judged individuals, having his hobbies of eating exotic animals deemed sinful and worthy of punishment.